Today we're making watermelon leather. Come on in, welcome to my home. It's getting warm and I know that these aren't really in season yet, but you can get them at most, wa uh, most grocery stores. This is watermelon. This was supposed to be seedless watermelon, however it is not. Um, so what I have to do is I'm gonna have to go through and you notice I picked out a lot of the seeds, but there's still a lot of the seeds in here, but I wanted to show you how to do this. It is so easy. And we're going to make something else next week out of the juice of this. So what all am I talking about easy? I have 10 cups of watermelon. No, no, it's not all right here. No, no, this is not 10 cups. But I do have 10 cups of watermelon. <laughs> the rest of it is in my refrigerator. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to puree this in my handy dandy food processor. Simple. Then we'll strain it. We'll reserve the juice for next week. But this week we want the puree. I have lined my plastic strainer with cheesecloth. So let's get started. Remember to save your watermelon juice. We will be using it later. Now you're saying, well, what am I gonna do with all this extra watermelon? Well, a couple things. So I still have some seeds in that, which I am not happy about. So what do I do? I have a slightly bigger strainer. I'm going to strain it into this bowl. Now I'm not going to do anything but tap this, simply because I want the water out of it. I'm going to go over here and stir this. Why do this part? Getting out the seeds. Once you have your pulp all separated, and yes, that did take some time, now you're going to add just enough honey to sweeten it up if, the, if they're not as sweet as you'd like. Mine are sort of sweet, but they just needed a little bit more. I'm going to mix that up and then very gently spoon it onto my mat. Did I get all the seeds out of this? No, I didn't. And realistically, for me, that's okay. Now, I'm going to be doing mine in my food in my food dehydrator. Now, I'm going to be doing mine in my dehydrator. If you're doing yours in your oven, line it with a silicone pad and then bake it for about, oh, I'd say six to eight hours or until it's dry at 175 to 165 degrees, and then we'll come back. This is going to take a while. Now, I will admit these are not as seedless as I would have liked them to be. However, now that they're done, I'm just going to cut them into strips. Remember to be careful not to over dry it. You want them to be just leathery enough. Let's give this a taste. That is really good. These are sweet. They have the great taste of watermelon and honey. Do they take a lot of effort? Yes. Yes, they do. Are they worth the effort? Yes. I really think that these are good. 100% natural. The tips I would give you is do more to get seedless watermelon. If not, get seeded watermelon, which has the bigger seeds, and will be easier for you to take the seeds out. Those are my tips for this. But other than that, this is really good. Now, if you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. And I hope I get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you, and I hope I get to see you again next time.